Hey, what's going on, everybody? PNWRC Madness. I'm back here again. We got the Outcast, and I just wanted to show you a quick video on how you get a strip screw out of your chassis. So come on in. I'll show you what we're doing, what tools we're using, how we get it out, and uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. So let's go. All right. So here we got my buddy's Outcast AS, and he's got this super awesome M2C chassis. Uh, he's got all the whole, actually, he's got the whole upgraded kit. And he uh, brought it over to my house today so I could go ahead and try to fix these screws. They're stripped in. So the first thing I tried to do uh, was add some heat. Uh, they're a little too stripped uh, for me to do the heat. And I think he might have put just a tad bit too much Loctite in there, but no big deal. Uh, the next step we're going to go ahead and try is we're going to go ahead and use this uh, drill and an easy out. So we'll go ahead and start with this really small drill bit, which we already have. I don't know if you can see that, but we got it lined up right in the center. All right, so the first thing we're going to try to do, uh, we actually tried the heat, like I said. Um, if you can see here, it's just a little too stripped. Now, I definitely recommend using a, a steel screw in here. Um, the stainless is actually pretty soft. But nonetheless, we'll go ahead and give it a shot. We got this uh, Easy Out uh, Irwin set. And then we also got the Dremel. So if we have to, uh, we'll go ahead and try to Dremel this out. But uh, keep watching and we'll definitely get these two strip screws out. So the first thing we're going to do, like I said, go ahead and start ourselves a nice small pilot hole. And you want to drill nice and slow. Kind of stinks, but I think we'll get it out, definitely. So we'll go ahead and use the easy set. And it comes with an extractor and a 564 bit. So we'll go ahead and use the 1.9 first. And then we'll go ahead and give this uh, extractor. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and heat that up again. Uh, that way we're melting uh, whatever Loctite that he has uh, set in there. So let's go ahead and open this up. Nice little kit. I just went and got it from Home Depot. Should work quite well. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna drill our pilot hole. This 564, again, nice and slow. Put the drill motor on drill. Check it, we're definitely going right down the center with what you, what you want. You don't want the bit to vary from one side to the other, so try to drill at 90. So there we go. It looks like it's drilling right down the center. That's just perfect. So before we get the extractor out, we're going to go ahead and uh, use a little bit of heat again. So we'll go ahead and heat this up. We'll heat it up from the, from the, uh, the flathead side, and then we'll go ahead and flip the chassis over, and we'll heat it up from the... I guess you call it the bottom of the screw. So let's apply some heat. All this does, like I said, is just helps melt the Loctite. And now that we got a hole in there, ooh, we're, we're running out. Oh, we're not running out. Okay, so we got the chassis flipped over. We're gonna go ahead and try not to melt anything. Just stick this, I don't know if you can see it very well, but we'll just stick that right. right on the head of the screw. We'll hold it there for maybe a good minute. Turn the little torch on. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try to get this light over here, guys. You can see in there now. So I'm right on the tip of the screw. So go ahead and heat that up. So anytime you got metal on metal, you just want to put a dab of Loctite. Um, otherwise, this is what's going to happen. All right, so we put some heat on it again. We'll go ahead and try to give it another twist. Oh, 
and it is not coming out. So we'll go ahead and try to use the, the ratchet again. It is not coming out. All right, so here we go. GoPro. Stuff. So next thing we're gonna try is the Dremel. I hate to do this, because it's really hard not to leave marks on the chassis. But what we got here is just some little Dremel heavy duty cutoff wheels, number 420s. Go ahead and tighten this on there. Get it nice and snug, that way it's not spinning. Definitely, guys, do put your safety glasses on because uh, the wheel could break. So we're just using a quarter Dremel. Tighten this up. And then we're going to go ahead and try to put a slot in there. That way we don't hit the chassis. Alright, so we've got this already just about drilled all the way through the screw. We're going to go ahead and give it some more heat. Torch always wants to go out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the next size up. This is the I don't know what size EX2. It's a 764 bit. So we'll go ahead and heat that Loctite up, try to melt it off the threads. All right. Go ahead and give her another try. It's not seem like it's wanting to work. Tighten that up again. There we go. There's one. Oh yeah, look at all that Loctite. So you definitely want to Loctite your screws, but you don't want to put that much Loctite on there. So we'll go ahead and try to drill the extractor out of the other one. And we'll give that one another shot. So that's what that does. That's how that works. So let's do it again. All right, so we're making this uh, disc a little smaller. Now we got the disc smaller. Try to put another notch in it. Go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. All right, so we're gonna give it one more shot. I'm gonna go ahead and try out this screwdriver. It's got a pretty nice flat head on it, pretty wide, and it looks like about the size of the notch. All right, so here we go. There we go, we got it. three strip screws out. So that's that. GoPro stop. There we go. We got all the screws out. We got that strip screw out. We got those two strips up, two screws stripped in the steering. Check it out. We got the fresh screws put back in. Good to go. Thanks for all right, watching. check it out. We got the truck done. We got all the strip screws out of the chassis, out of the M M2C chassis. So that's gonna end the video for today. I hope this video helped you guys out and you guys are able to get strip screws out of chassis later in the future. Hopefully you don't have to, but thanks a lot guys. Please do subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.